Hello, and welcome to Art with Mrs. Buffo. Today, we're going to be learning about cutaway concept art with this fun root vegetable watercolor painting. Let's get right to it. Cutaway concept art is a drawing, a diagram, or illustration in which surface elements of a model are selectively removed to make internal features visible, but without sacrificing the outer context entirely. Today we'll be showing this art concept with a root vegetable garden. So we'll still be able to see the horizon line. We'll be able to see things above the ground and below the ground with our cutaway concept art. Don't forget to put your name, date, and class on the back side of your paper. For our first grade class today, we're using a thick poundage or heavy weight watercolor paper. The subject of our image is gonna be a root vegetable, which is defined as the fleshy enlarged root of a plant that people eat. Think about things like carrots or other vegetables that grow under the ground, maybe a radish or a beet, a parsnip, a rutabaga, any type of tubers kind of count. And I'm also going to include or roots that people eat, including ginger. One of the most important parts of this image today is the simple horizon line. Let's remember that the horizon line separates the earth from the sky. Because we're doing a cutaway concept, this is going to show us above the ground and below the ground. After you've taken some time to decide what root vegetables you want to show in your garden, take a few minutes using a sharp, detailed, but light stroked pencil to create some drawings. I hope you notice that the tops of my vegetables are all different. I took a little time to study some of different vegetable tops and I was excited what I came up with. So in mine, I have a carrot, an onion, a beet, and some Yukon gold potatoes. In the next step, I'm taking permanent markers and I'm making some um, artistic choices with the colors. You can see I have a few different color greens for my tops. My horizon line I'm going to make brown and then the bottoms of my vegetables I'm making sure that they match. And then I'm going to clean it up with an eraser. first grade we love exploring different type of media and one of my favorites to use is watercolor paints. Make sure that you're prepping your watercolor paints with drops of water before you start coloring in your vegetables. Use different techniques like a dry paintbrush with wet paint or maybe add some water to the paper before you add your color. I want you to focus on using all the colors inside your vegetables first then you can add your brown, and then finally add some blue to the background. I think your pictures are gonna be absolutely stunning, and I can't wait to see what you create. Taking a closer look at my image, I hope you can see that before I started painting, I added some little um, roots coming off of the root vegetables. Something that I could have also added were some key pollinators. Um, we all know that plants need little insects, bugs, and animals to cross pollinate to be able to create more fruits and vegetables for us to eat. I hope, I hope you've, you've had, had a fun, fun time, time with this cutaway, cutaway concept, concept art, art featuring, featuring a, a root, root vegetable, vegetable garden. garden. I can't, I can't wait, wait to see what you, what you created, created today. today. This is Mrs. Buffo saying thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.